Welcome to the digital job site where this today's project is going to be creating a model that represents the shell of a building that will be a, ultimately be a studio and workshop. And getting the process started, um, we'll just work with the basic dimensions which um, consist of a main room which will be 24 feet by 18 feet and then uh, it will have a separate area that's also 24 feet but only 12 feet wide oops 24 feet and 12 feet there we go the structure will uh, eventually be built on a, um, a foundation that will be raised up above grade somewhat. Um, initially we're assuming it's going to be 12 inches so we'll um, make this slab represent 12 inches. I'm going to group these components just to keep them or these this geometry I'll make a group just so it doesn't change as we continue the drawing process. And uh, the walls of the main structure are going to be 15 feet tall. You can see how SketchUp quickly does this stuff. I'm inferring a point here to create a rectangular surface. And because I've grouped the slab, this surface doesn't become a, a face until I make all four edges. And then the lean-to portion of this is going to be 9 feet tall total, so they're going to be 8 feet. And I think it, uh, this, is, this should be 14 feet, not 15. For a total of 15 feet. So this gives us the uh, outline of the end wall of this building and we're working with uh, a proposed roof pitch of 512 which I can enter in the value control box that direction. The main portion of the studio will have a 1212 pitch which is a 45 degree angle. So I'm just going to throw some guidelines in here to create this surface. Get this our upper gable. Throw in a little shed roof here. Simple enough. Erase some extra geometry. Get this stuff out of here. And then I'm going to assume that that fascia is about going to be about eight inches. Uh, wide. I've selected a whole bunch of um, lines here and I'm going to offset this 8 inches for a fascia and then to make this a plane I'm just going to connect these lines and create a face that will be that fascia. Um, we're not wanting a step in the roof profile in this area so I'm going to just fill this little patch in here with some guidelines. It's a lot easier to throw a guideline in, give SketchUp an idea where you're what you're trying to do. Then oops, hit the wrong key there. And uh gives give SketchUp something somewhere for your lines to end up. So what we've done here is just create um, the fascia as it would look with a 512 pitch and intersecting this 1212 uh, roof. Simple as that. I'll break this video off here and continue on with some more steps momentarily. <laughs> 